So moving forward, we will move on to bout number eight. It is a professional Muay Thai rules bout in the Journey Fight Series Professional Tournament. This bout will be contested over five rounds of three minutes with a two minute rest period in between rounds. The trophies and the bout are brought to you tonight by Team Spanish Muay Thai and the Century Casino, Enzyme Energy Services, Global Steel, The Roadhouse, Crescent Point Energy, The Shooting Edge, and the TheJourneyFightSeries.com. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first in the blue corner, fighting out of Shaolin Muay Thai, trained by Kruelin, weighing in at 160 pounds, with a complete record of 57 wins, 10 losses. He is the WKA and WMA world champion. Please welcome to the ring, Shane Shaolin. Shane Campbell coming to the ring, uh, fighting out of Ontario traditionally, but now living in Edmonton, training some fighters. Hasn't been in the ring for a while for Muay Thai, by my understanding, we're doing lots of uh, MMA. Of course, has a, a good record fighting all over the world. You see his complete record of 57 and 10. So uh, experienced fighter, should be an interesting fight. This bout brought to you by Team Spanish Muay Thai, Century Casino, Enzyme Energy Services, Global Steel, The Roadhouse, Crescent Point Energy, the Shooting Edge and JourneyFightSeries.com. Shane Campbell, of course, bringing lots of swagger to the ring as well. And now, fighting in the red corner, representing Aida Muay Thai, Papi Ratham Jim, weighing in at 160 pounds, with a professional fight record of three wins and one loss and one KO. Please welcome to the ring, Nate Papritham Chambers. Both fighters are glaring at each other across the ring, uh, looking all business. I got money that says this one doesn't go the distance. I, yeah, I would probably venture to say that myself. I don't know, I, I think that uh, all the staring and all that comes from the Dutch stuff. I'm not a big fan of it myself. I think it's classless, but whatever. You don't ever see the ties do that to one another. You see the tail of the tape there. Uh, Nate Chambers giving up a little height advantage, about three inches to Shane Campbell. Those of you who've seen Shane Campbell, long legs, long limbs, like to stay on the outside, throw some jumping things, uh, jumping strikes a little bit. Uh, have you see, you've seen uh, Shane fight probably yeah. on pay-per-view against our own yeah, Nate Smanich, or Trevor Shane Smanich. Fought, uh, Trevor Smanich in a pretty, pretty good war down in Florida there one time. It was a three-round fight, but uh, Shane landed a, a jumping knee that, that kind of put Trevor down and uh, Shane ended up still in that fight, and uh, it was a good fight. I haven't seen much from Shane in the last little while. I don't know if he's, I know he's been active doing some MMA and stuff. Yeah, so focused on his MMA career for the most part. Yeah, so, which, you know, as a fighter, they try to stay busy, but uh, he did take this uh, opportunity well, how about here. a shot of the WMC title in 10 grand? Sound yeah, worth it? Exactly, yeah. that's worth it, for sure. Fighters put the, are, put fighters the MMA like on money, hold right? for a bit. Yeah, and you know what the thing is, it's it's all about uh, getting in there and, and brushing up your skills. So even though it, uh, a pure Thai boxing, everything won't always apply to an MMA type environment, it's still good to work your technique, get those fights, get the experience, get, you know, keep busy as a fighter. That's that's the key component. Definitely, I think that's what a lot of these guys, you're starting to see more guys, uh, some guys moving into MMA, moving back and forth. You do see, um, recently uh, there's a Thai fight in England or Ireland where one of the well-known UFC fighters, I uh, can't remember his name, uh, Irish hand grenade they call it, I can't remember his name, but he oh, went yeah. over, fought a Muay Thai fight, been doing MMA for years in the yeah. UFC. 
Yeah, that's right. And you will see a lot of that. You'll see a lot of the, uh, I've seen a lot of the M uh, UFC MMA guys traveling to Thailand to brush up their Thai boxing skills. And good to see because, you know, the stronger you get at each component of the game, the better you're going to be off. So you look at a lot of the guys that are, are winning and holding belts today in the UFC, they're all predominantly strikers with a great ground game. So, so Campbell marching straight forward, ready to go. Teep there. Oh, hard roundhouse kick to the leg by Shane Campbell. Ooh. Campbell throwing a heavy overhand right there. Chambers not phased at all. He's all business here today too. Chambers seems fairly calm, not too phasing it. Nope. Lands a nice inside kick of his own. Campbell using the teep. Campbell looks a little more composed than I've seen him in the past. He looks more technical. A little bit, uh, a little bit looked. faster, faster round, feeling out round than yeah. some of the other fights we've seen. Well, Shane does like to get after it. It's his kind of his style, and yeah, I'm not sure how many of his fights were five rounds oh, full nice Muay Thai. So there by Chambers, pressing a little bit, and uh, Campbell throws a nice hard right hand, follows up with a lead leg inside cut kick, uppercut, lead round those kick. Chambers not too phased. Chambers rocking some sweet Bob Marley there. Absolutely. And he gets caught with a hard right uppercut. uppercut. Oh, hard right hand by Shane Campbell. Chambers look completely composed Chambers there. Chambers ties yeah. him up. Throws a nice left hook of his own. Nice cut kick check by Campbell. Campbell throws, oh, oh, big right hand by right. Shane Campbell. Bounce right back up, that was quick back up. Big right hand, nice overhand tie style right hand, dropping the elbow up. And dropping the chin. Chambers up as quick chin. as he went Chambers down, though. Up. Yeah, flash knockdown, but he's he was rocked a little up. Did hit him hard. Campbell tying up. Nice knee. Good spin there by uh, Chambers. Knee to the thigh by Campbell. Campbell pressing chest to chest. Gets broken up by referee Lyle Chaney. Good job by Lyle Chaney tonight. Lead probing kick there. Oh, inside outside there by Chambers. Campbell not too phased. Campbell pecking with the jab. Stepping in, finding range. Checks cut kick. Kick caught, caught, pressed by Campbell. Throws big hooks. Swarming hooks. combination, yeah. Oh, Enough big up uppercut. Oh, 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 big. Yeah, that's tough. Shane Campbell Nate putting Chambers. the hurt on Chambers. Swarming him with punches. Chambers is up, he wants to go. But that one's over. Chaney cuts it off. There goes Shane Campbell, pretty happy with his win, and should be. He, yeah, he really unloaded. He had, uh, had Chambers rocked a little, and he really came to town throwing some nice flurry of punches there. Shane looked good tonight. He, he looked did, more technical than I've seen him look. He did look technical. He was throwing hard, everything yeah. hard. Yeah. Now, when I bet that somebody was going to end this one quick, did I bet you? Was yeah, that $10 you were, you I bet you? Or, I don't I think you bet me anything. I thought you said... Oh. I thought yeah, you said he was going to go the distance, and no, I get 10 bucks. <laughs> Here you go. You see the replay. Campbell There's landed Campbell a few good shots. time when he had him in the corner, yeah. He knew he had uh, had him in trouble there a bit. So yeah. came in heavy with the punches. Chambers got caught with a right uppercut, from my view, that did stun him. He regained. He kept his composure, but he, then he got clipped hard with a, excuse me, a right hook. Not long after. Here's Here the it finishing. is, a big right hook that finished him. Another one right. Another, and then oh, there's the left, left uppercut. Yeah. Done. He was done right there, yeah. yeah. Lots of shots. Referee Lyle Cheney, I mean, uh, Nate making it back up, making his eight count, but referee, referee Lyle Cheney decided to stop that fight, which is uh, the right call. Nate was pretty wobbly there, so. Yeah, he was really thrown. Of course, the safety of the fighter is always a priority. Yeah, the... Uh, that was boat number eight, brought to you by Teams Managed Muay Thai, Century Casino, Enzyme Energy Services, Global Steel, the Roadhouse, Crescent Point Energy, the Shooting Edge, and Journey Fight Series. And I know a lot of guys did not want to draw Shane Campbell for this fight, so yeah. he will move on to the next round along with Shane, Preston Baptiste. Shane's got a difficult style. He's aggressive, he's technical, and he likes to throw. So I mean, and he's fit. Yeah, he's fit. He can keep that pace for all five rounds. I yeah, think. that's right. Good fight for Shane Campbell tonight, though. Great fight, actually. Looked really good. Nice sign of respect there. That's good to see. Uh, Nate Ch Chambers. I mean, what a, a warrior. He traveled up here without any with any coaches. Of course, we offered to provide a coach, but he's uh, more or less self-trained these days. And yeah, Tough fight for Chambers, but I mean, he was looking really nice, nice and composed, and just happened to get caught. Like I say, 
Thai boxing, no such thing as an easy fight. You don't get knocked out fighting as a professional, and you go through your career without ever being knocked out or, or losing, then you've been set up. Yeah, I've been challenged. Yeah, that's right. You see some of those shots landing on the replay, boom. Right there is the one that really, that big right hook. Yeah, that was big. Hard. Campbell with a few glancing ones, but but uh, a lot lot hitting on the target there. Yeah. Ladies, once again, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this fight has been brought to you tonight by Team Smadage Boy Thai, the Century Casino, Enzyme Energy Services and Global Steel, the Roadhouse, Crescent Point Energy, the Shooting Edge, and the Journey Fight Series. And the winner advancing to the next round of the Journey Fight Series in September by technical knockout at two minutes, 18 seconds of the first round in the blue corner, Shane Charlotte Campbell. Very exciting bout. Shane Campbell advancing to the next round. Nate Chambers lived to fight another day. So we'll see, maybe we'll see Nate back here in September or November, uh, a few months off for him to recover and hone his game plan.